What's going on, if and fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join the family. Guys, today is October 1st, 2021. It is currently 5.36 a.m. Today is the day that I get my endometriosis surgery. Now, I have gotten surgery literally a year ago for my rhinoplasty that experience as you guys saw if you guys are og subscribers it was not the best experience that was kind of like the hardest thing that i ever had to go through now that i know i'm getting surgery today it's a little nerve-wracking um, isaiah right now is in the bathroom he's getting ready i don't know if you can hear he's listening to music i don't know how he can listen to music at this time but whatever gets him through this day uh, so I'm just going to be taking you guys along my journey um, this whole week during my whole recovery and honestly like your prayers have been so so amazing and everything that I need to you know get the strength to get through this surgery and guys I'm sorry if I'm talking too much but I just feel like the infinite fam is like amazing and you guys are the only ones that I feel like I can vent to and like I know so many of you understand what I'm going through and are going through things that are similar and you know even worse than I'm going through and you guys and God give me my strength. I'm getting like a little emotional because for so long I've gone through so much pain and I feel like no one really understood. I felt like everybody was just like, oh my God, like you're being dramatic or every girl gets their period. Like there's no reason why you should be acting this way. And to know that um, after all these years of my suffering, I can finally just like get this taken care of is like, it's like everything. Cause lately I have not felt like myself and it's been very tough to like get through daily things. I'm just praying that this surgery is a solution to my back pain, my stomach pain, you know, my cramps. And, like my chronic pain and I know that it's not gonna be 100% gone and I might have to get surgery in the future to continue to remove the endometriosis but I know that this is going to help and that's really all that I need. <sighs> Enough of this like <laughs> emotional chatting, I'm so sorry. Um, now let's just wait for Isaiah to get out of the bathroom and we're just gonna vlog it out and take you guys on the journey with us as much as we can. Good morning, Infinite Fam. I am finally out the bathroom. Apparently, Janice told you guys that I was in the bathroom getting ready. So today's the day. Finally, it's been, what, we've been waiting for this day for like a month now? Mm, yeah. How do you feel? Uh, that's how I feel. <laughs> Doesn't you feel nervous? Not yet, but I know it will probably be once they start putting me on the table to get ready. Gonna be fine, babe. You already know that. You're gonna be fine. So yeah, guys, we gotta go all the way to New York. It's gonna be about an hour or so drive, especially with that morning traffic. Right now, it's six o'clock in the morning. Should be fun. New York City is always fun when it comes to traffic and just driving. It's actually very horrible. But yeah, I guess that's all there is to say right now. We'll catch up with you guys when we get to New York. Just made it to New York. We were stuck behind a garbage truck for, I kid you not, maybe like 10, 15 minutes and that backed us up. So we're in front of the hospital right now. How are you feeling now? Uh, I just like really have to use the bathroom. That's all. That's how bad the anxiety is? Yes. You gotta go on the toilet? Yes. I have to go on the toilet. My stomach hurts and I'm really nervous. I have really bad anxiety. I just need to relax. You're gonna be fine. And when you get on, I'm gonna be right here. All right. Uh huh. Love you. I love you. All right, you're gonna be okay. Right? No crying, babe. We're gonna stay positive here. We're gonna stay positive. No crying. Look at me. Look at me. We're gonna be okay. Okay. Alright? You did a whole rhinoplasty. It's gonna be easy for you, okay? Oh, okay. Your anxiety's just taking over, okay? 
It's okay, babe. It's all right. You're going to be okay. I'm going to be here with you throughout the whole stuff of the way, and we're going to be good. Okay? I love you. Love you. All right, go in before you're late. Okay. Yeah. So fast forward about an hour. Not <sighs> Told myself I wasn't gonna cry, and here we are. <sighs> okay, I think I'm good now. Told myself I wasn't gonna cry, and I'm happy I didn't cry in front of her because I felt like. <sighs> One of us had to be strong. I'm sorry for all the cuts, guys. I think now I'm good. I had to take a break again. Yeah, I'm happy I didn't cry in front of her. Uh, I felt like one of us had to be strong. Obviously, she's more nervous than I am, but as you guys can see, I am just as nervous. I know everything's gonna come out good. I mean, her doctor's like A1. Um, he's very knowledgeable. He's a specialist in this kind of thing. Um, he did say it was gonna be a difficult kind of procedure, so he doesn't know if She's gonna have to stay overnight or anything like that. So if this video ends up dropping today, it's because she has to stay overnight. I don't know. I don't really know how I'm going about this. I'll probably end up releasing this video as is. And if I do end up going to pick her up later today, I'll just start recording again. And I guess you guys will see the second half of today. I kind of want her to stay overnight. At the same time, I don't. I want her to be taken care of the best way possible. And I know that the hospital can do that better than I can. But yeah, I don't know if I would want her to stay overnight because it's same time I want her here. Yeah, guys, it's kind of hard to film right now, so I think I'm just going to cut it here. And um, I'll pick it up either tomorrow when I go to pick her up or I'll continue it if I pick her up later.